Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about XRP. XRP rallied a little bit higher throughout the weekend, you know, but um, so after reacting to that micro support area, but I don't think this counts as sustained breakout to the upside yet. The movements, and we see that better on the one hour time frame, they just look a little bit too choppy. So yeah, I mean, nothing has changed really from a structural point of view, but the market has reacted a few times to the support area. I mean, that's good. Essentially, the market is respecting, the price is respecting the parameters that we've put onto the charts. In the last video, I've added that 38.2 retracement level at 56 cents, in addition to the other ones that we already had to the, uh, on the chart. And if we zoom out a little bit and you see that this is still just a sideways movement, but as I explained in previous videos, the movements to the upside from the 5th of July low, they look a little bit impulsive. They are not impulses, but they look a little bit impulsive. And that impulsiveness has faded a little bit because this year is starting to look very choppy again. But as I said, they only looked impulsive. I mean, this is still a three wave move. This is still a three wave move. And also here, the latest rally is in my view just a three wave move different ways of counting that last move up really really messy and choppy so for me at the moment i mean there is no way of confirming that we're already in the breakout we haven't even taken out a previous significant swing high yes we've taken out the saturday the 14th of september high but it's not a sustained break so we just rallied in three waves again and we're coming down again so there is no sustained breakout yet also the trend line didn't get broken and i think i mentioned in previous videos that really important is that 66 cent level we're far away from that still and then the first key level is here around 64.2 cents which is the b wave high so if i'm if i'm interpreting this move as a sideways elliott wave triangle then this would count as an a wave which was the low on the 5th of august a B wave rally, the lower high on the 8th of August, the C wave pullback, uh, which was the 6th of September low, a D wave rally might have formed a new high now actually. So um, that's how we label it. And then a higher low in wave E, and then we could break out to the upside. That's still what I'm watching for. And therefore my interpretation is that one more low would look best. I'm talking about a higher low here. Pretty much a test of the support area would look best with a test of the area between 56.17 and 52.2 cents. It, it indeed would look best before we move to the upside. And 52.2 cents is still the key support, the 78.6 retracement. Below that level, we have one more FIB level to watch at 51.5 cents, but we're not even close. So we can talk about that more when we get a little bit closer. For now, um, the white count allows and actually suggests there should be another higher low in wave E. That wave E doesn't really have a minimum length. However, it, it would be good if it, you know, if we get into this support region, I leave it unchanged, the support area. And then there's the yellow scenario in which we are already pretty much in the third wave rally to the upside. But I think you can see that this is not third wave quality. Okay, so this movement here is just too choppy to really count as a third wave. Um, it can be a third wave, you know, it's obviously a diagonal pattern, this yellow count. Also the wave one is an ABC. So the wave three would also be an ABC and the A wave can have, been, you know, might've been just a three wave move. And the B wave is happening now as some kind of a flat correction, which would be A wave, B wave, C wave. And then we could break out to the upside from there in wave C of three, to the upside. And that C wave can be an impulse though. So, and also when the triangle finishes, the next move could be an impulse. Normally when a triangle finishes and we actually get the breakout, the breakout can be quite rapid, okay? So that is something to be very much aware of. So don't be surprised if the next move up is quite fast, but for now it's, it hasn't started yet. Support levels are clear and I'm watching for higher prices still. Short term, a test of support, however, would look best. That's the update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. 
for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.